Hey guys, it's me Andrew and my friend Sam, also known as Crimson Dog, and today we're going to be showing you our cube collection video. Sorry we couldn't do it at the end of 2014, so we'll just be doing the beginning of 2015. I hope you enjoy. So, we have 73 puzzles with more on the way, so we better get started or this video is going to be hours long. So, we'll start with the 2x2s and move up for the rest of the cubic puzzles. Starting out, everyone's favorite. <laughs> and actually, no, I'm just kidding. It probably, it's probably, these are probably the worst puzzles on the market. The Rubik's 2x2s, two this is um, a weird weird sticker thing. And the normal tiled uh, Rubik's brand. These are absolute junk. Never get these. If you're going to get a 2x2, two two, just buy a good one. Okay, now getting actually into the real 2x2s. Two two. This is a um, Shang Shao 2x2. Two two. It was like my first kind of speed 2x2. Two two. It's like the Land Land 2x2. Two two. It corner cuts this way, but not any reverse because it's not flooring modded. It's a good cube for beginning speed cubers. Um, it's, it's just okay. Up next, a definite uh, recommended 2x2 two two for beginners. And actually, a cube that is my main, if it wasn't stickerless, is the Cyclone Boys. 2x2. Two two. It's really good. It's really fast. It has decent corner cutting. The only bad thing I have to say about it is uh, sometimes it catches and like I said it's stickerless so couldn't use it in a competition but hopefully that rule changes. So it's a good cube. If you're a beginner, buy it. Okay, next one. This was my main for the longest time. It is the Dian 2x2. Two two. It's really smooth and silky and um, quiet. It corner cuts good both ways, and it's really good. But it's getting old, so um, today, as of today, it's not as good as its other um, um, competitors. Then this is the cube that world-class speed cubers um, is the cube of choice for world class speed cubers. This is the Mo Yu Ling Po. It is extremely fast and extremely, or not extremely, just a little bit crunchy. It corner cuts so good. 45 this way and about a half, a little bit more than a half that way. It's very nice. It, this is my backup main. This is my main, the Feng, Feng Shi Shi Shuang 2x2, uh, 55 millimeter. It turns really fast and it corner cuts 45 as well and about a half a piece back this way and it's just a really nice cube for um, being um, underestimated compared to the MoYu. Then, now we're going on to 3x3s, three this is the iCube. It's a dollar store cube, basically the it's just bad, like the pieces aren't even capped, like some of them aren't I mean it's so weird it turns literally awful and it's probably belongs in the trash like the Rubik's 2x2s up next the good old Rubik's 3x3s uh, back in the day a throwback to times when we were getting minute 30 solves and they were lubed with petroleum jelly these cubes are surprisingly the best you're gonna get a Rubik's cube a Rubik's brand cube. This is mine. I have another one, but I broke it, so it's buried in my lawn. Uh, it's that one. And then we have Sam's. It's amazing. You can see the stickers peeled off. A lot sweat. A lot of sweat, blood, and tears <laughs> were put into this thing. So uh, this is actually good. You could probably use it in competition if you needed to. Sticking with Rubik's, this is actually a very nice cube. It's the Rubik's Speed Cube. It's really fast and pretty crunchy. Um, it corner cuts 45 and about a half a piece back this way, and it's fast, and it's just good. It's The only thing that's wrong with it is that it pops because the mechanism is quite unstable. This is a Dian Shang stickerless knockoff cube. It's um, pretty bad. Um, it pops like really easily. Like You could take your finger and go like this and just push out the piece because it has no anti-pop mechanism at all. But... Um, it's, it's okay, it's fast, and it's kind of just fun for messing around with. Then we have this. This is the biggest knockoff I've ever seen. It's a Diane knockoff of some sort that is literally a Diane piece. and um, But it turns actually pretty good. It's fast, and um, it, it pops a little bit, but it's okay. Then the good old-fashioned Diane Zanchi. This is still a very good cube for being old, but however, it's dropping down in rankings um, to other speed cubes as of today. It's very fast, and it corner cuts pretty good, and it pops a little bit, but 
it's still a very good speed cube for beginners and um, world class speed cubers. Moving on with 3x3s, here we have two uh, Feng Shi Shonrens, one white, one black. It's a good cube. The only bad things I have to say is there's some popping and corner twists, but it's a really great cube. And another surprising bad quality is uh, the center caps kind of suck and they pop off. But this is actually a really good cube, and it's my backup. So, yep, great cube. Next we have my one-handed main, the GANS 3 version 2. I have a version 3 on the way as of now. Um, but this is a little bit smaller than our regular 3x3, and uh, it's my one-handed main due to that. It's um, pretty nice. Then this is the YJ Sulong. It's um, very fast, and it's really good for only being 6 or $7. dollars. Um, there's nothing really wrong with it at all, except it pops from time to time, and that's about it. I mean, it's just it's a really good cube. Up next, the YJ Guanlong. If you're looking for a great speed cube at a good price, this is the uh, cube for you. It's, I believe, $4 on the cubicle, and it's ridiculous. It's actually my main. The corner cutting's good. It's fast. It's everything you could want. Um, there's, re there's really nothing bad to it. Uh, it feels a little bit cheap, but, yep, it's a good cube. And if you're ordering something, uh, definitely put this in with your cart. Then, the big boy of 3x3s. On YouTube, this is considered to be the best 3x3 on the market, and well, obviously it's the Mo Yu Along version 2. It's extremely fast, and um, it corner cuts over 45 and over a half a piece this way. It's just great. The only thing I could possibly say that is wrong with it is that it corner twists. And other than that, this is the best BQ on the market, in my opinion. We have two more 3x3s. Um, this is the giant foot cube. Um, it's pretty fun to solve. It's fun to mess around. You can do feet solves with it. And then we have this uh, little keychain cube by Rubix, which actually doesn't turn bad at all. Um, which is kind of funny because each um, cube of this is about the size of uh, uh, this little keychain cube. Pretty nice, both of them. Moving on to 4x4s. Um, first up, the V Cube 4. This is definitely V Cube's best puzzle. It's in white. Uh, it's really, really fast. That's definitely its best quality. Corner cutting's decent. The only downsides are uh, it catches a lot, and it's actually quite expensive uh, for the quality you're getting out of it. But not a bad cube at all. Then we have the Shangshao 4x4. This used to be the best 4x4 on the market until its competitors such as Moyu and Yuxin came in. But this is still a very nice cube. It corner cuts pretty good and no reverse really at all. But um, it's a very nice cube and it's rather fast and crunchy. This is my main speed cube for 4x4. It is the Moyu Alsu. It is very fast, very sandy and smooth and silky. Um, the middle layers turn good and it's fast. I average like a minute under a minute 30 with this cube, and which is good for me. It's it's very nice. And the best quality about it is you can be extremely rough with it, and it's not going to pop or um, no corners or twisting or anything. It's very stable. Up next, the best puzzle that I own in my collection, the Yuxin 4x4. This, it's a newer cube. Uh, everyone's getting to know about it in the cubing community. It's ridiculous how good it is. It's fast. The corner cutting is amazing. There's really no downsides to it, and the best word to describe it is butter. It's just amazing, and it's actually uh, quite cheap compared to the um, the other really good 4x4s. Moving on from 4x4s to 5x5s. We have two Shangshao 5x5s here. These are really good puzzles, and they're actually um, quite cheap. I definitely run, recommend getting them for, as your first 5x5, and you might keep them as their main. Yep, they're great puzzles, so... Make sure you pick one of those up. Okay, now we have six by sixes. These are both Shang Shaos, and obviously this one is has exploded. So I did this little sticker mod where you put the uh, stickers in between and you have to match it up at the center. It's kind of hard to solve, but there is no six by six on the market that is good, like actually good. Like I know, like you can mod it to make it good, but this it's just, it just doesn't. It feels like it's gonna explode. It's not fast. It's not fun to solve at all. I'd be into six by six if there was actually a good one, but. Sadly, there isn't. Next, we have a Shangshell 7x7. This is about basically the only cube made by Shangshell that isn't overrun by Moyu yet. Moyu Alfu is good, but this is um 
this is still remaining strong as a lot of people's mains. It's very smooth and it's it's just good overall cube. Fun to solve too. And we have the 8x8. This was my cube. This was the biggest cube in my collection for a long time. It, it was one of my favorites too. It's really fun, and smooth, and crunchy and fast. It's a really fun puzzle. And the 9x9, which isn't it is scrambled at the as the moment, but this is even smoother than the 8x8, and it's fun to solve um, everything the other Shangshao products have. And the big Shangshao, the 10x10, which is the smoothest of all of them. Um, all the layers are great on this cube, and it's just very fun puzzle to solve. Massive puzzle. And the biggest um, cube we have is the 11x11. 11 11. This is a very fun cube to solve, too. Um, when I first got it, it caught way too much, like way more than it should have. But after breaking it in, doing about three solves on it, it, start, it turns absolutely great now, and it's very smooth and fast and crunchy. And this is um, um, the biggest one right now in our collection, but I probably will get the Moyu 13x13 when the prices drop. Moving on from the Cubic puzzles to more WCA puzzles, we have the Land Lands Cube. This is my first cube I ever had. Um, it's still pretty good, even though it's really old. Um, I'm not that big of a cube solver. I average about 15 seconds. But this, um, it doesn't corner cut very well, but it's still remaining strong in the cubing community. Sam and I, both of us, we're not really into cubes, but here we have probably the best cube on the market, the Moyu cube. Um, it's really fun. I'm not, like I said, I don't cube much, but I can just tell it's amazing. It's not much more expensive than any other one, so if you were looking to get one, definitely pick one of these up. They're both great. And next, Pyraminx. My personal favorite, uh, the puzzle that I'm best at, this is the Shang Shell. The Moyu Pyraminx is on its way for Sam. I, I heard that was a little bit better. But this is actually a really, really, really great puzzle. Um, I, there's just so much to say about it. It's good. Uh, Sam, as you can see, modded it just a little bit. It's great and good puzzle, fun to solve. Up next. A puzzle that I personally think should not be a WCA event, Mega Minx. Um, it's fun, but I just don't see why they would have this be a event and something like a 3x3x4 three three not. But it's really fun. It's fast. The lube that comes with it is not the best. But yep, fun puzzle to solve. And our last WCA puzzle is the Cube Twist Square One. Those Mega Minxes were Shang Xiao, by the way. Um, this is a very smooth and buttery puzzle. Um, it turns really good. It's kind of a hard puzzle to solve. I average about a minute on it, but it's it's a really fun puzzle. Um, it the only problem is that if you if you're too violent with it, it pops like these pieces right here. But other than that, it's very good. Now we're gonna go on to Cube Boys, starting with three by three by N puzzles. This is the 3x3x1, three three or also known as the floppy cube, or the super floppy cube, because this one shapeshifts and does these cool um, moves such as this. It's a really fun puzzle, and it's really easy. You can give it to non-cubers, and they can probably figure it out. Up next, uh, a really good starting cuboid for you beginners out there, the Lanlan 3x3x2. Out of the box, this puzzle isn't the best, but with a little bit of lube and work, it becomes amazing. It's really fun to solve. It's a quick solve, one of my favorite cuboids. Uh, also, another good cuboid for beginners is the 3x3x4. This one is cube for you. This one is uh, Calvin's and Tony Fisher. Really fun. The Calvin's puzzle is a, it's a little bit better, but it's more expensive. These are both really fun and, like I said, good for uh, people that are new to cuboids because you get to learn all the algorithms. Next cuboid we have, which was surprisingly my first cuboid I've ever had. It's the 3x3x5 by, by, by Cube for You. It turns pretty good, it corner cuts and everything, but the coolest thing about this puzzle is that it shape shifts and it becomes a very big mess when it when it gets scrambled. It is a very fun solve, and uh, I recommend everyone gets this. It turns good everywhere. Then we have the 3x3x6, by, by and as you can see, a corner broke on it. And uh, then I lost the corner, but it still functions um, just fine without it. You just have to remember that it's the blue, um, yellow, and orange corner. It turns very, very smooth. All the layers are very fast, and it's it's just a great cuboid overall. Up next, a puzzle I just got in the mail yesterday. 
the cube for you, fully functional, 3x3x7. Three three this uh, It's a really difficult puzzle if uh, once you're new to it, but it's actually really fun. All the layers turn great. It has that great swish sound. And a cool thing about this one is it actually bandages, so you can't move these individual 1 7th layers once it's bandaged. So, really fun cube. I def definitely recommend getting it. And the, uh, the fact that it comes in transparent is a choice that's uh, just really cool. Okay, going on to other cuboids. This is the cheap 2x2x3. Two by two by it's It turns okay. Well, these layers are really fast, but everything else is good about it. It's not There's not really that much to say. It's it's a fun cuboid to solve. It's a really quick solve. Then we have my favorite cuboid of all time, or actually my favorite puzzle to be um, honest. This is the 4x4x6 four by, four by, by Calvin's. This thing turns great on all the layers, except for these ones. These are a little bit rough, but every layer turns great. And the best part about it is that it shape shifts like crazy. This is the, this is a very, very fun and a little bit challenging puzzle to solve. But once you know what you're doing, it's a uh, very fun and easy puzzle to solve. And it can be confusing sometimes. Speaking of confusing, we have this puzzle. This is the 2 by 4 by 6 by, um... Calvin's, it's, um, by Calvin's Puzzles, it's really good, but, um, I just can't solve it. No matter what I do, I just can't do it. It turns good and everything, but it's just really hard to solve. I just, uh, it's, it's fun, though. It's, it's, it's rather expensive, though. Okay, we're gonna go on to other puzzles, starting with shape mods. This is the Axis Cube. Um, it's very fun to solve. It turns really good. Um, I had a little bit of trouble when I first got it because the edges are um, sp um, split and also like one color and the centers are split. But it's a very good puzzle. It um, shape shifts really um, good as well um, and it's fun to solve. Next puzzle, the Void Cube. This is a really cool puzzle. Um, fun, I don't think it's that expensive. The turning on this is ridiculous. Uh, it, it can turn... Uh, a good word for it is spin, actually, 180s with uh, just ease. It's amazing. Okay, this is the um, Shang Shao Master Morphix stickerless. It turns pretty good. It's It corner cuts and everything. Um, it shape shifts really good, as you saw. Um, it's a pretty good beginner shape mod, but you have to realize that the edges are one color and the center is a split color and some of the corners are one color. So you can run into some weird parodies at the end, but it's very fun. I was very confused when I first got this, but now it's I solve it with much ease. Then this is the coolest shape mod ever. It's the Dianxing Blade Cube. This thing is cool. It shape shifts and everything, and it's it's really fun. It's 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 just a really cool looking puzzle. It's really cool. It's just sharp and everything. It's fun. The centers are three colors now, and the edges are two and are two and one color, and the corners are one and three colors. So this can be a very challenging puzzle, but it's very fun to solve. With lube, this thing turns amazing, but out of the box, it was very bad. Up next, two Shang Shao Golden Mirror Blocks. These are really fun. If you're new, you want to try to get um, into shape-shifting puzzles, I definitely recommend these. The stickers are great. Like I said, really fun to solve. They present a bit of a challenge, but um, nothing someone that can solve a 3x3 three three can't handle. Okay, then this is the hardest shape mod I have. It's the four-layered octahedron. This is a 4x4 four four shape mod, and the centers are split into four things and can be separated, so you have to make your color scheme as you go along. This thing has insane parity, and it's very difficult to solve. This is my second hardest puzzle behind the 2x4x6. Uh, by by it's fun, but it's, it's just hard. It's really hard. Other puzzles, continuing, we have the... Um, MF8 Gigaminx, which is much better than its counterpart, the cube for you Gigaminx, shown by Crazy Bad Cuber shooting it with a shotgun. Um, this cube is really nice. It turns fast and everything. It's just a good, fun puzzle, but it takes a long time to solve. Up next, we have the Dino Cube. Um, this is a really, really, really easy puzzle. I don't, uh, I wouldn't recommend getting it on the cubicle just because it's so expensive, it's not really worth it because of how easy it is, but yeah, it's a fun puzzle to solve. Then I don't really know what the brand of this is, but it's a uh, Professor Pyraminx. It's, when, you, when I got out of the box, this thing turns so bad, but with lube and a lot of breaking in, it actually turns really good now. This was a challenging puzzle when I first got it, 
and uh, it's um, still kind of challenging, but it's really, really fun to solve. This is one of my favorites. The only bad thing is that the tips are really hard to turn. This is also one of my favorites. I got this for Christmas. This is a um, Wit Eden Oscar Van Deventer mix-up cube. It looks like a regular 3x3, three three, but then when you do the mix-up move, which is here, you can um, separate or um, switch the edges with the centers, and it, it becomes a pretty big mess, and it's really fun to solve, and it's quite a challenge too, especially with the two parodies. Also, another one of my favorites, the... Land Land Curvy Copter. This thing is really fun to solve. It looks really, um, really, really good. It uh, jumbles too, which can be a challenge. And also it shapeshifts when you only do one of the um, things right here like this. And it becomes very bandaged and it's really fun to solve. Then we have the Rex Cube. This is a um, brother to the um, Dino Cube. Rex standing for T-Rex in the Dino Dinosaur. Um, this is very fun. It solves just like a um, dino cube at first, but then these pedals are kind of difficult. Um, I use this one algorithm that switches these two, and the only problem with it is that these pedals pop off really easily during a solve, but you can still work the rest of your algorithm, and then you just pop it back in like this. And it's, it's a pretty good turning puzzle. I'm not sure what brand it is. Then we have, this is my Siamese Rubik's Brands. Um, this one's kind of um, more worn down than this one is, and... Um, a uh, kid just gave this to me at school, and um, they both turn pretty good. This one turns actually pretty nice, too. But, um, yeah, it's just a Siamese cube, and they're really easy to make. You can look up a tutorial how to make it, or we might make one, actually. Then, this isn't really a puzzle, but um, this is this is called the Rubik's Revolution. And you can play these games on it and stuff, and it's, it's really fun. It's just it's kind of stupid, though. Okay, going on to gear puzzles, and then that'll be the end. Um, we have this is the gear shift. It is really fun to solve. Um, the, uh, it turns really cool like this, and then you can split it apart and turn it like this. Um, it's really fun. Don't be, it's kind of deceiving. It kind of looks really easy, but it's not as easy as you may think it is. Then we have the good old fashioned gear cube. This thing is really fun to solve. Uh, as you can see, it turns like this. And um, it's it's a really interesting puzzle to uh, play with once you get the hang of it. It's really easy too. And then the last puzzle that we have is the gear ball. This is a um, very nice turning puzzle. You can hold it by the centers and turn the opposite side. It's uh, really fun to solve and it rolls around like a ball. So guys, I hope you enjoyed all 73 of our puzzles. And like I said, we have more coming and along with that more videos. So we'll see you later. Bye.